Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new Snapchat for Minecraft 19W06A. Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the new Snapchats for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain and bring us. Let's get started. Alright, so we are going to be looking at the first thing that they have added in the snapshot, which is that they added a loading bar to Minecraft when it starts, and that is really cool. Now I have no idea how this is going to look on the, on the video right now. Um, you're going to see a black screen right now, and hopefully you will see this. Yes, that right there, that is beautiful. I love it. And then this fade, I really, really love that. That is a very cool addition really cool very awesome very much appreciated all right so now that we are in the world we're going to be taking a look at the rest of the stuff in this snapshot so the first thing is some technical stuff and i'm going to read it from the wiki right now new optional tag for block items to force a block state um this does not affect item model and it is formatted as the thing that i'm showing on the screen right now because that is kind of difficult to put into minecraft chat that says hello so yeah there we go also a quick note to the new optional tag for block items contains map of block state they say contains map of block state properties to be all written after block is placed note item model is still not affected now other than that we have some changes to the wandering trader it will now drink a potion of his invisibility at night and when day comes they will drink a milk to stop the potion effect so what we are gonna do right now is take a wandering villager. Yes, exactly. You will be our test subject for the day. Yes, you will. Whether you like it or not. Set night. Cool. So you are still able to slightly see him because of the particles, but otherwise you would not know that he is actually there. So if we then set it to day again. Cool. Magic. All right. So after that, this snapshot is actually really small there's only a few other changes that we will be taking a look at um the next thing is that the is that they have updated the lwjgl2 3.2.1 also known as the lightweight uh lightweight java game library so they have updated the lightweight game lightweight java game library i hope i said that right to 3.2.1 that's a long name. I can understand why they only took those letters instead of saying the entire thing. That's that's tough. But other than that, they also improved the startup time, which is of course very appreciated. Particles are now broken up to, up into individual texture files per frame rather than being in in particles.png. This though breaks resource packs right now, but they are working on a way to still being able to load old resource packs, which of course will be amazing. And yeah, I really hope they will be able to do that because that would be very nice if that was added or done. Yeah. And also as a note to what I just said previously with the particle stuff, do not use .mc meta files for their animation. That is still hard coded. But other than that, we have seven issues fixed from the released versions before 1.14. And then we have 22 issues fixed from the 1.14 development versions and four issues fixed from the previous development version and that pretty much wraps up this snapshot it's a very small snapshot but very much appreciated and very well and of course one step closer to 1.14 so yeah that is pretty much it for for from me this time i hope you enjoyed and if you got any questions be sure to let me know down in the comments below but yeah that's that for this video hope you enjoyed and have a nice day remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and enable notifications so you won't miss out on video store streams feel free to join my discord server link down below and also follow me on twitter link down below as well anyways hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day